Coffee is for closers, man. Put the coffee down. It's Monday. We gotta get out there and make it happen. Our families are counting on us. Our colleagues are counting on us. Our employees, our team members, they're all counting on us. What are you gonna do today? You're gonna hang around, play Lazy Monday, say, I got a case of the Mondays. No, man, it's time to get to work. It's time to make things happen. The country's opening back up, and this is your time. Okay? This is your time to share your mission. This is your time to share your passion. This is your time to solve problems. Okay? Today, I'm gonna make a special video for you guys about sales and what sales is really all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll into it. What's up guys? This is Adrian Boysell and thank you for visiting Adrian Graphics and Marketing channel. If you haven't been here before, make sure you smash the subscribe button. I make a ton of videos on sales, marketing, graphic design, all the things that I'm passionate about and all the things that have helped me build a $500,000 a year company. Yes, let me say that again. All of the things that I have learned, that I have done myself, that I am practicing what I preach, that I've taken years and years to learn, okay? 15 years of knowledge I'm sharing with you for absolutely for free. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, and share it with somebody. Because today, I'm gonna share with you all of the strategies that I use and the way I approach sales and what I believe sales is really all about. So number one, sales is about serving. It's as simple as that. Sales is about serving other people. It's about putting other people's problems and their needs and their mission first. And when you do that, Trust me, your needs will get met as long as you have boundaries, as long as you do what's right by you as well. So you can't compromise yourself, but at the same time, it's about putting them first. So number two is about being ethical. Share the truth, be transparent, and be trustworthy. Okay, that is a really big deal when it comes to selling. People will see right through it, and especially the people that you wanna be working with, maybe the people that are inexperienced, that don't have very much money, and that aren't gonna be very committed, they will, see, they will not see through it, but the people that you want to work with will see through the BS. So be honest, be truthful, be transparent, show them where you're strong, tell them where you're strong, tell them where you're weak, tell them what your expectations are, what you're expecting out of the relationship long term. Get that stuff right out, right out in front. The ethical side is very, very important to selling. What is the mission that they have? What is the goal? What is the vision? What is it that they are trying to accomplish? Whatever you can do, if you have a skill set that can help them, like these videos for me, my mission is to help you as a young entrepreneur move across your journey in business and actually avoid some of the pitfalls, help you have a lot of success, help you make more money than you've ever made before. That is my mission because I know if I can help and impact you, you are going to turn around and you're gonna impact other people. And that is what my heart is after and that's what I wanna do for other people as well. Number three is proof. Okay? You have to prove to people that what you are preaching to them is something that you do. Okay? My company generated just shy of $500,000 last year. That's the biggest year that I've ever had in business. That's a very big deal. A lot of people never hit that kind of number. Now, that is just the beginning goal for me. I still have a lot that I want to accomplish in my time in business, but right now, I'm very proud of that. I'm holding on to that, and I'm using that as social proof to be able to show you that you can do this as well. I was a dropout high school kid that didn't have anything going for me until I picked up my passion, which was art and graphics, and I actually focused and dedicated my time and practiced. So you need to be able to show the proof and the truth behind what it is that you can do for them. Okay, they're looking to solve a problem. Okay, they're not interested in hearing about your story. They wanna hear about how you're gonna help them along their story. They're the main character. Some of the ways you can help provide that proof is through references, okay? Through reviews and through visual aids. If you have a printout of something that you've done, something that you've accomplished, an award that you've won, that is gonna provide proof. If you have reference letters from clients, which I highly recommend that you get, is when you have a relationship with somebody for a long period of time, three, six, nine, 12 months, get them to write you a reference letter. You can do that on LinkedIn, but I believe that it's really important for them to actually do it in writing and actually put it on a piece of paper where you can actually print it out and put it in a binder and say, oh, by the way, here are some of my references of what my clients have to say about me. There's no lying, there's no fighting against that, there's no way to circumvent that, you're not faking it, so it's the best way to go about doing that. 
Then number two is obviously your reviews and actually showing people the different reviews that you have online and what people have said about you. That is a really good way to prove your skill set is having a visual aid. So when you're selling, you can create PowerPoint presentations and go through slides. You can create visual sell sheets that you can actually show them the breakdown of the process that you do so they can see it very clearly right in front of them and you can prove your process. If you can show them you have a proven process and that process makes sense to them, you're gonna give them that piece. So one, you've eliminated the risk and the fear of them dealing with somebody that's scammy that's just trying to take their money. Number two, you've proven your process. Very, very important. And number three, you're getting them to take some sort of an action. The ask. The ask is so important. So many people fail in this area, including myself. This has been an area that I've struggled with. But if you have a strong mission and you have a strong why and you have a strong purpose, then it's gonna be easy for you to come up with what your ask is. I know when I'm dealing with a client and I'm looking to help them with their business, they need to grow from 5 million to 10 million or 10 million to 20 million, whatever that number is, I know that I'm gonna give them a realistic time frame, realistic expectations, and I know that I can deliver on that. If I don't think I can deliver on that, I'm not going to put out an offer to them, okay? So you need to make sure that this is something you can deliver on, that you can actually follow through with your commitments. Now, super important, when it comes to an ask, make sure your ask is realistic and that it's fair. When I do business, when I'm selling with somebody, I make sure that it's fair because here's the deal. Over the lifespan of the relationship, if you have somebody that you think you can work with long-term over time, then there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to increase your ask over a period of time. Don't try to expect to get everything up up front. You need to be patient, you need to build a relationship, you need to build the trust, and you need to show them some results first. So what I want you to do is just come up with a simple ask. Keep it simple in the beginning. Hey look, I wanna try something out for 90 days. And in those 90 days, what I will ask you to do is make a commitment that you're gonna stick to this, that you're gonna honor your side of the deal, and that all I want in return is $3,000, or all I want in return is $5,000. If their first reaction is, oh, that's too much, that's way out of my budget then you need to say, well, what is your budget? That should be the main question that you ask to them. And honestly, in your prospecting phase, when you're actually interviewing people and going through that process, you should know what their budget is right up front. And if you don't, then you need to do a little bit more due diligence and you need to be targeted on who you're talking to. So it's important that your ask is very clear, that's very concise, and that it's simple. Hey, look, I'm asking for a 90-day commitment from you. And in those 90 days, I want X amount of dollars. Is that something that you can do? So that's what I got for you today. I wanted to keep it short because I got a lot of stuff going on this week and I got a ton of stuff that I'm creating for you guys. I've been asking you guys to follow along with me every Wednesday through my online training of how to start a new online business. And so this week, this Wednesday is video number three. So stick with me, please check that out. My ask today is just hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment and introduce yourself. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. God bless and as always, keep looking up.